Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Crayon Code, in which we are going to take a look at the so-called stack data structure. A stack is a data structure which basically just works like a stack of boxes in real life. You start with one box and put more on top of it. When you need a box, you start removing boxes from the top until you reach the one you need. This means that a stack is a last-in, first-out data structure. Therefore, the item that has been added last to the stack is retrieved first. The item that has been added first to the stack is the last one to be retrieved from it. A stack has two basic operations to add and retrieve data from it, push and pop. In JavaScript, arrays can be used as stacks, as the array type provides both methods. The push method allows you to put an item on the stack so it gets added to the end of the array, and by that the end of the array always is the topmost item of the stack. And vice versa, the pop method allows you to retrieve the lastly added item, which also removes it from the stack. In other words, it removes the last item from the array and returns it, so you can store it in a variable and continue working with it. An everyday's use case for stacks is implemented in web browsers, more specifically in their back and forward buttons. Each time a URL is visited, it is being pushed onto a stack which we'll just call the backward stack. Now, whenever you hit the back button, first the topmost URL of the backward stack is popped off, second the current URL is pushed onto the forward stack, and lastly the URL from the backward stack is navigated to. In case of the forward button, it just happens the other way round. The topmost URL from the forward stack is popped off, the current URL is pushed to the backward stack, and it is navigated to the URL just being popped off. Hopefully, this helps you to understand the way a stack works and its possible applications. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, subscribe to my channel. If you have suggestions for future topics, just post them in the comments below.